Welcome to this week's Force.comcast video where we're going to discuss using the system.runas method in tests and also validating field level security within Apex. So whenever you're writing tests you should ensure that you're verifying um, that different permissions are followed for sharing rules um, within the Apex code that you're writing. So for example um, you may have a particular set of code that is allowing you to um, you know view a certain record or retrieve a certain series of records that may or may not be visible through sharing rules to um, different users. In order to test this, you should run your code as these different user types, the people that will be having access to the pages or to the Apex classes that you're working with, to validate that the code is running as expected. The way in which you can do this is you can create a test user in memory during a test method, and then you can run the test as that user using the run as method. So one of the interesting things about this uh, way of working is that um, Salesforce within their test methods ignore licensing requirements. So if you have, for example, uh, 10 licenses within your organization and they're all fully used, you can still create a, a user um, in this method for a test and it won't count against your org limits as the data is just created in memory for the test. So what we can see here is we retrieve a profile for the user we want to run as and then we just create a test user filling in the required fields. Um, we're not inserting the user here, we're just going to pass it in to this method. You can insert it if you want um, and then use it, but uh, it doesn't make any noticeable difference. Um, and what we do is, as we run as that user, um, we're now going to verify a couple of fields for field level security. So what I've done is I've added a field here called profile secure field onto the account object. and it is um, accessible and updatable for the standard platform user profile type, the standard user, sorry, the standard user type, um, standard user profile, and it is not accessible or updatable for the standard platform user profile. Um, <coughs> Apex has these utilities that you can use um, for the fields, where you can check whether the field is accessible, updatable, deletable, um, and uh, for objects as well, uh, it's creatable. And what this allows you to do is to go in and ensure within your Apex code that you're following your own field level security um, requirements. So Apex runs within a system context, and so although the with sharing keywords ensure that sharing is enforced, there's no way of enforcing field level security within Apex. So what you've got to do is if there is a particular um, a set of field level security you want to enforce, you can use these methods to verify. So what we've got here is two tests, one as the standard user profile and one as the standard platform user profile. And we've just created some users using these profiles and we're going to run these tests and we'll see that they'll return correctly as expected. So if we go to run the Apex tests and if we press to run them, And what we get is we have both of them are passed. So the field level security is being enforced via these methods. So we can use these methods to validate that the field level security is working as expected. And if we've got these, uh, if we have some code where we want to not allow a particular user to update a field or change a field, um, for example, on a visual force page or something like that, then we can use these methods, the is accessible, is updatable, and so on, to ensure that we don't allow that. And we've also seen how you can use system.run as now within a test method to validate that your sharing and you know, uh, permissions are running as expected. And you can use this now to test your uh, code properly.